Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 36 bolos coming your way. Most of these are big money bolos. Some of them are just items that you should definitely be on the lookout for. Items that you can buy low and sell high. And I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And these items all sold on eBay. And these featured sellers are from the Auction 99 Challenge. So these were items that they chose to be in the challenge. And I don't do every item from every seller. Just, um, sorry, my glasses are falling. Um, just some of the highlights. So uh, I printed it off really small. So I definitely need my glasses. All right, let's get started with some big money bolos. All right, my screen share is up and we are going to start with a little information. You guys are like, oh boy. Okay, so if you want to see the five items that I sold and what they sold for, mine, my video is over on Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So it's on my other channel and it's right here, Weekend Sales and Results from Challenge. So basically, I hold up my items that I sold and tell you guys um, what I sold over the weekend. And then I um, also share with you my five challenge items and what they sold for. I will tell you that three of them were bolos and two of them I thought were going to be bolos, but they didn't do so hot. So definitely go and check that out. Um, I'm getting really close to my 1K subs. Thank you guys all so much for subscribing and watching. I appreciate you all. And the next person I want to talk about is actually, let me check something here. Yes, we are good to go. Is Mountain Man Treasure. And Mountain Man Treasure, um, he did the first challenge that I set up, which was the $15 thrift challenge. And we decided to do another challenge. So I kind of bounced ideas off of him and we kind of came up with the auction 99 challenge together. So I really appreciate his help on this and please take a minute and go over to sub to mountain man treasure. He's awesome. He's a bolo finder. You will definitely learn from him. So uh, go check him out. Okay. So the first item that he sold is this any any man any man i think is how you say it i don't know but this one was a golf club cover and he like so sewed sewed the bottom of it up and made it like a big plush so i guess the little ones are very common but the big ones are not so he was giving all of the proceeds to charity and this was actually signed by commonwealth picker himself so that's very cool but um it sold for 269 dollars and there is a story behind the buyer for this item and what happened so what you need to do is you need to go over to mountain man treasures channel and go to this first video and he will tell you exactly what happened and commonwealth picker is who this item came from so definitely go give him a sub also all right so uh 269 on that one with 50 bids all going to charity and he'll tell you more about that charity also it's an awesome charity so um really really cool all right, the next item he sold is this Barbie for $361. And he has a whole series going on right now on his YouTube channel about Barbies. He's going to this special place and picking up loads of Barbies. And he has been making great profits. Now, I was not able to get in touch with Troy in time to find out exactly what he paid for this item before the video, but, um, it may be in one of his other videos. Um, so you can check that out, but I apologize. He um, is buying a bunch at a time. So I don't know if he's calculating it out by that or if there's specific amounts for specific dolls. I want to say there's specific amounts for specific dolls. And that is a mouthful. All right, the next item is another one from that same Barbie place, I'm guessing. And this is Cut and Style Barbie from 1994. And she's in her original box. 
NRFB remain, means never removed from box, okay? This one had 45 bids and sold for $107.50. Now, again, these are his um, five items that he sold auction style starting at 99 cents free shipping. And if you want to see all 29 what sold videos, if you go to YouTube and put in the search bar hashtag what sold auction 99, you can pull up each person's videos and see what their items sold for. Um, I wanted to go back to this one. I didn't tell you what this Barbie was called. So she's called Barbie Stunning in the Spotlight, Gold Label, Silkstone 2009, new, never removed from the box, and it sold for $361 with 51 bids. Okay, the other one is this Nintendo Wii console, and it's got all these games with it, and as you can see in the photo is what you get, and that sold for $118.50 with 30 bids. And um, it's probably going to be kind of expensive to ship. So I don't know if he made money on that one. It depends what he paid for. And unfortunately, I don't know for this one. So I apologize for that. The next item is this haunted handmade vintage doll, active paranormal spirit vessel, please read. So um, we all know that the doll is not haunted. He's just doing a play on words for people who are into that stuff. Now, I have talked about this in the past. This is not something that I would do or that I recommend doing, but um, I think Troy was having a little fun with this one because it was part of the auction 99 challenge. So, um, and honestly, it doesn't look very creepy, Troy. <laughs> it just looks silly. Poor little guy's missing his eye. He needs a button. Somebody bought it probably just to give him a button. But anyway, I don't know what Troy actually wrote down here. Um, he, I think he made up a story. So you guys will have to go check out his store to uh, read the story that he made up. Anyway, like I said, I'm not recommending this. Um, I think he was having a little fun. Um, I don't think that this is something he does all the time. I wouldn't think so. I guess I'll have to ask him. All right, the next person is... Farm Girl Scavenger Noel and Noel brought one item. Wait until you see it. Um, she is at 753 subscribers, so definitely go give her a sub. She's getting very close to her 1,000 goal. And the first item she sold is this ring, and it is between 1910 and 1930s. It's Art Deco. It's platinum, you guys. 0.25 carat weight diamond solitaire with 0.35 carrot um the accents so here's what she wrote found the ring at the bottom of a vera bradley weekender tote that she got at the good will bins you guys it was in a tote bag that she bought so she bought the tote and found a diamond ring and she did have this appraised and it was appraised i think at a thousand or just under a thousand dollars so she decided for the auction 99 challenge, she was going to auction off this ring for $99 free shipping. Crazy. No way would I ever do that. I would be a nervous wreck, but it ended up going for $800, which is pretty fantastic for something she got free. But I just love how it's old, you know, it's just an old ring and it's so cool. Anyway, yeah, $800, 44 bids. And she wasn't the winner. There were some people that really brought the goods. All right. The next item are these 25 vintage Disney movie pens. And um, let's see what she wrote about this. Bought it in an estate sale. Paid simply pennies for the whole lot. I bought large Rubbermaid totes that were filled to the brim for $10 each. And this bag was in one of them. So she's got pennies in this. And a lot of people will sell these items individually as bread and butter, but she decided to lot them up for the challenge and they sold for $36.90, 15 bids, free shipping. So yeah, very cool. The next item is this Austin Powers Mojo uh, Ada, Ada Toilette. 
Cologne, 1999, unopened. How cool is that? It's fun, right? Um, unopened, purchased at an estate sale for about 10 cents. It was the last day and they were getting ready to stop the sale and auction off everything room by room. I bought so much stuff that my son and I had to make three trips each and we filled up the SUV for a hundred dollars. So really paid pennies. That's fantastic. Noelle is a bolo, bolo finder for sure. She does a lot of estate sales and finds some really good stuff. So this vintage Pendleton wool blanket, we all know Pendleton is a bolo. I'm surprised this didn't go for more actually. Paid 20 bucks at an estate sale, but who wouldn't, okay? Item number, um, yeah, sorry, I was reading on to the next one. So this one sold with eight bids for $51. And like I said, I am surprised that this did not go for more. Oh, is that like a color wheel? I'm going to have to ask her about that. Is that just kind of to show the color of the blanket? Huh. That's interesting. I kind of like that idea. Okay. The next item is this lot of Gumby and Pokey collectibles, Wacky Wobbler sunglasses and bendables. How cool is that? Um, okay, uh, $20. Let's see, I'm sorry. Vintage lot of Gumby sunglasses, bendables. Bought what I thought were two Gumby cookie jars for $20 for both. Last day of an estate sale. When I opened the open box, it was full of all of this plus tons more collectible items. So less than $3 for the whole lot. Okay. And she said everything has been paid for and shipped. And she believes she got right around $1,000, $1,006 total. So that is fantastic. Um, and her cost of goods was so low. So that's really great. The next items are from Auctions For You. And if you guys have not checked out T's channel, she has a auction channel where they auction off goods that they get at thrift stores. Like they buy out thrift stores, not like going to the thrift store and buying items. Like she has bought thrift stores. She has bought storage units. Um, Donna and her do a lot of shows uh, together. On They go back and forth on each other's channels. And they are both sourcing machines, you guys. They have tons of inventory. And they don't really um, look through their items and check comps. They just sell it out. Um, a lot of people have gotten some really good deals. Uh, I'm just trying to think what I was going to tell you guys. Oh, I do have a video coming up. I bought a $100 mystery toy, vintage toy box from T. And... Um, I have unboxed it. I have the video ready, but I'm working on listing everything in the box so that I can give you guys an estimated value because I like to do that in my videos. Um, but it's a lot of work and this box was just jam packed. So um, I'm excited about it. Uh, all right. So let's see what T had to sell at the auction 99 challenge. And again, I'm going to post links for everybody that I'm talking about in this video down in the description. So you can, you can find them that way also. All right. The next item that, well, the first item she sold are these Nike Air Jordan um, tennis shoes. And I was not able to get in touch with T um, in time for the video. So she buys in bulk. And like I said, storage units, she has bought out thrift stores. She has bought things from Mr. Buys a lot. So I'm not sure where the shoes came from, but I'm guessing she got a good one. And they sold, and they're a five and a half Y, kids size. They sold for $107.51 with 45 bids and free shipping. The next item, this is amazing. So it's a Christmas cookie wooden pull toy folk art, hand numbered. I don't know, is it Briere? 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 Studio Design. I've never heard of it. Um, here's the uh, actual like uh, logo. I have no idea if she knew that it was that would sell for this much. I want to ask her because it is definitely a very cool, unique item. Sold for $414, you guys. 49 bids, 
free shipping. That is awesome. She brought some really good stuff. Um, again, I think this was from a storage unit buyout, but not 100% sure. It's a Siegfried and Roy autographed framed photo, and it's got the um, certificate of authenticity. I said it right. Yes. There it is. Sold for $71 with 34 bids. And I'm surprised that one didn't go higher. That's super cool. The next item is this Kobe Bryant signed card, guys. And I don't know. Let's see. I don't know that it had like... Um, I, I'm guessing it would have went for a lot more if it would have been... What's that word? Authentic... I can't say it authenticated. It's just a word I can't say. It's like alum aluminum. I just can't say those two words. So anyway, I don't see anything where it says uh, that it has that. So um, it went for $410. And I'm guessing this came out of the storage unit as well. And Kobe Bryant signed Upper Deck MVP in hard case sold for $410 with 51 bids. So if that would have been had like the COA or whatever it's called, who knows what it would have gone for. So very cool. The next item is this 1981 Topps baseball uncut sheets um, sold for $36 with free shipping. And I'm pretty sure she has sold quite a few of these at her auctions also. So um, T has a lot of vintage toys and a lot of sports cards right now. So if you're into that type of stuff, definitely head on over. But um, like I said, there's a lot of unique and different items that they bring. So definitely check them out. The next is Rebel Junk. And she is a Bolo finder. And I will tell you how I know. Because I have a Bolo live show on Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And she has shared a lot of items. Um, now... Her auction 99 items, they didn't, they didn't end up being bolos, but there's one item that you should be out, be on the lookout for, in my opinion. And I'm surprised it didn't go for more because it was awesome. And it is, and that's Erin from Rebel Junk. So definitely go check her out. It's this cute little chalkware turtle. So I will pick up chalkware when I see it. It's, um, Chalkware is pretty obvious once you start to know, once you know what it looks like. And this is like a little piggy bank and it's neon and it's made in Japan from 1968. And I just think it's adorable. Now this probably would have done better buy it now or best offer, but it was a 99 cent free shipping challenge. So she couldn't do that. And this was the item that she picked. So definitely a very cute item. It did sell for $20 and 50 cents and the buyer got free shipping. If I had this and I was going to list it, you guys know me. I usually list high and then I do best offer and I run sales. I probably would have listed it at 50, 50 bucks at least. <gasps> I think it's cute and it's made in Japan. You guys know I love made in Japan. All right. The next person I'm going to talk about is over the years and he is so knowledgeable about glass and breakables. So definitely check him out. Um, let's talk about his items. The first item he sold is this vintage art deco, Aladdin uranium glass ceiling light fixture. And I shared a uranium ring in one of my videos and I was saying how cool it was. And somebody was like, Oh, it's not, it's not cool. It's got, um, and then something about like a machine was hooked up to it that showed how much something it emits. And I'm like, what? So I guess I wasn't really, sh I'm not clear of what uranium is, I guess. <laughs> I'm clueless. I need to Google it and do my research because I don't know. I, I just thought it was glowing glass. I thought it was really cool glowing glass. So anyway, you guys can let me know in the comments. You guys can teach me because I haven't had time to Google it. And uh, I am a little curious. I've had a few comments about it. So uh, let me know. Anyway, these sold for $153.50 with 21 bids and free shipping. Um, and he sells a ton of the glowing glass and he always includes the photos with it glowing, which is very cool. 
The next item is this Snap On Tools trucker hat. And I did watch his video and he said he forgot an important word and that was scrambled eggs. And I guess these are supposed to look like scrambled eggs. Um, they look like leaves to me. Um, but maybe it's like a key word that I've been missing because I've sold items like this and I didn't know that that was a like a word that people search for. So I need to ask him about that. Um, I watched it in his video today and I'm like, scrambled eggs, what? But um, one of his subscribers bought this and they paid $49 for it. It's Snap-on and it's a K Products hat. I'm actually surprised it didn't go for more because Snap-on and K Products are both very collectible and it's a vintage uh, Snapback hat. So $49, 22 bids, free shipping. The next item is this Jason Wu 2004 limited edition fashion royalty voyage jet set luggage cocoa. And at the time of his video, they had not paid yet. They had said they were going to be late on payment. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, if they're like trinket boxes or I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, I mean, they're just little. Maybe it's just decor. Wonder if they open. I have all these questions. Tell me, tell me about the luggage. Sold for $147.50, 28 bids, free shipping. And he got this. I do have information. I haven't been telling you guys. Oh my goodness. Hold on just a second. Uh, this he got free at an estate clean out. The hat came from Facebook Marketplace and he paid $2.64 for it. And these fixtures he got from a hoarder's pick and he paid $10 for them. This tea, this vintage tea came from a private pick. He paid $2.50 for it. So this is a 1970s rare rock band t-shirt, Peter Frampton, Frampton's Camel. And you can see it's got some damage. Um, it sold for $153.50 with 32 bids, free shipping. And it's it's got a cool graphic for sure. So look at the neckline. It's even signed. That's so funny. By the person who owned it, not the singer. All right. This vintage 1966 Topps Batman rookie card uh, came from an antique mall. He paid $18 for this and it sold for $67 with 41 bids and free shipping. And it's not in mint condition. So um, that's pretty good, right? I don't know. wonder what one sells for if it's in mint condition. The next item comes from Lisa's Finding the Redo. And Lisa is a newer YouTuber. So definitely go give her a sub. She's currently at 66 subscribers. And the item she wanted to share was this insane clown posse clock. It's from 2005. And again, I am very surprised that this did not go for more. Insane Clown Posse is, I think the items are a little bit harder to find. Um, you don't hear about them much. And they have a pretty, um, like, a, a following. People that follow them and want their items. So uh, let me see. What did she pay for this? I'm trying to find it in my notes. She paid $1.91 for it and it sold for $32 with free shipping. Again, this item may have done better. I'm pretty certain it would have done better with a buy it now. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things where the right people have to be online during that seven day period looking for that item. And I feel like eBay used to be so big on auctions and I don't feel like eBay is as auction -y auctiony that's not a word as it used to be but you guys get the point the next item comes from mr buys a lot and he also does youtube auctions has great items for resellers um definitely go check him out and he brought some great stuff so let's look at it this item is a 1997 rock and roll concert poster, Stone Temple Pilots. And he did a buyout and he got tons of posters. Um, let's see. 
bought out or bought as part of a 55,000 poster deal. Oh my goodness. He paid 125,000. So roughly $2 and 50 cents invested and it sold for $42, 23 bids. He paid $125,000 for 55,000 posters. And these are like good ones, you know, that is awesome. The next one is that I will say Mr. Buys a Lot is not afraid to buy big. I mean, he sources big. People call him and he goes and he buys it and he brings it to his auctions. So definitely check those out. Okay, so this Popeye uh, state part of a picker's load of toys he bought. So paid roughly $5 and sold for 92 Pickers load toys. So roughly five and sold for 92. Great. Yeah, that's a great profit for sure. So here he is. Popeye. Popeye the sailor man. Is that what he's called? Uh, I felt like I was going to start singing and it is numbered 125 out of 550. So very cool. The next item is this GI Joe trading cards. 1991. They are sealed. And... Where is it? Oh, G.I. Joe. I was looking for trading cards. Uh, he paid 75 for this and he sold it for 84. So, or I'm sorry, 80, $80 and 54 cents. So this one uh, did not go well for him. Um, I'm guessing he was expecting it to go higher. So that is a bummer. I'm not sure. He talks about this in his video. So go check that out. He explains more detail. Um, but yeah, if you find this cheap, it's definitely a bolo for sure. The next item is this Gone with the Wind book. It's a first edition 1936 printing. And this came from a, a state book. Okay. So he paid less than a dollar and it sold for $70 free shipping. The next item are these Three Stooges doll set. And these, he paid $5 each for a total of 15 for all three from a recent toy purchase and sold for $41 and free shipping on those. And he said these were lightweight in his video. So shipping probably wasn't too bad. The next item is from AEIOU from eBay. And he is a new YouTuber. And let's talk about a couple of his sales. The first item is this Star Wars uh, Mint Sealed Black Border Limited CCG Booster Pack Lot. Uh, Darth Vader. Um, bought when I owned a comic book store from Decipher for whatever wholesale was at the time. I think it was around 100 a box and a box had 30 soup, 36 packs. And he sold it for $133.50 with 28 bids, free shipping. So this is something he's had for a little while. The next item is this Superman Alex Ross signed statue Kingdom, Kingdom Come autographed print. And this was an incentive for ordering multiple products from Diamond Comic Distributors. Technically, it was free aside from the product that did not sell that had to be bought to get it. Free. LOL. Sold for $133.50, 23 bids, free shipping. The next items are from Donatella Bottolino, and she is also um, a reseller. She sells on eBay, but she does YouTube auctions and selling events on her channel. So she does a lot of buy it nows. She does cater to resellers also, but she does also sell items individually at times. So it's a great channel to go over to and check out if you're a reseller or if you're just looking for personal items. And again, she does um, the auctions with T, who is auctions for you. All right, so let's talk about Donna's items. The first item is this um, Mickey Mouse uh, musical snow globe. When you wish upon a star, it's vintage, and it ended up selling for $85. This, I believe, came from an estate buyout. 
So um, basically what she does is she buys out estates. She buys out, um, uh, not thrift stores. She has people at thrift stores that call her. She used to um, own a thrift store herself. And uh, so she, she knows a lot of people that bring her deals. So she always has really, really great stuff. But I think this was an estate buyout. Like she got to go to the estate after it, I think they sold some of the stuff, but I don't know. Somebody called her. I think that was this one. I don't know. I get them all mixed up. I watch her channel and see the videos, but it, um, and she talks about them during her auctions, but I get, uh, I get confused because she goes to so many things. Okay. I did see this video. This she picked up at an estate or not an estate at the Goodwill Benz, the outlet, and she has a video on it. So go check it out. But we all know that Chanel bedspreads can be huge money. And I think if this would have been laid out on a bed, she would have gotten more money for it. I think it's kind of hard to see this way. That would be my tip is put it on a bed. It seems like the ones when I'm doing my bolo videos that sell for big money are laid out on a bed so you can see the entire thing. Now it did have some spotting. I think that also hurt the auction, but it still sold for $52 free shipping. So. Um, I will tell you that Chanel bedspreads are a bolo. This had a couple things going against it. The stains. Um, I don't know if the stains will come out or not. I don't know if she tried. Um, so I think that hurt it, but definitely a bolo. Not in this case because free shipping is going to cost her quite a bit to ship, but she did get it at the Goodwill bin. So she didn't have a whole lot in it. And you guys should definitely go check out those Goodwill bins videos because she found some cool stuff. The next item is this Penn International Salt Water Reel. And uh, actually, uh, another challenger bought this. Zombie Bargain Hunter bought this. And he paid $157.50, 35 bids. And I said, you bought that reel? And he's like, yeah. He's like, that's like a $300 reel. So I don't know if he's going to sell it or if uh, resell it or if he's going to keep it. But Bolo, Bolo for sure, probably would have done better on Buy It Now. The next item, um, I did talk to her about these and she paid $70 for these. Um, these were actually in her original video um, where she started out in the thrift store and then she showed her 10 items. And I'm like, $70? She's like, well, you got to take some risk. And I'm like, $70? Vintage brass, mother of pearl, inlay candlestick pillar candle holders. Set of two sold for $130. I'm sorry, $103.50 with 25 bids. Now, did she make some money? Yes. Did she make a lot of money? No. But my thing for you is, is if you see something like this at a thrift store and it's five bucks or seven bucks, these are definitely a bolo. Did she pay a lot? Yes. She took some, she took a gamble and she did okay. She made a little money. So the next item are these Stubbs and Wooten dog spaniel loafers. They sold for $65 with 20 bids. Um, never heard of this brand. It must be a decent brand or somebody liked them because of the dogs. I have no idea, but they are pre-owned. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand. And if you see it, definitely look it up. Um, I, she had 10 items and her viewers picked five. I'm showing you the auctions for the higher solds. I don't remember which five her viewers picked. And, um, so I just thought I would show you the bolos. So uh, this, I think, came from an estate uh, also. The purse, the Lana of London purse, sold for $76 with 19 bids and free shipping. And that was probably in a bulk buy also. Maybe that same estate. I'm not 100% sure. But Lana of London, I've never heard of that brand. I'm guessing it's a pretty decent brand. You can see it's got some... I don't know if that's a stain right there, but it's got a little defect there that she pointed out. So it still went for $76 and free shipping. And it's not a brand I've heard of, so I thought I would share it with you guys. The next item is this vintage Gobel, Go, Gobel, I don't know how to say it, Hummel Cowboy Gnome figurine. So Sid the Ventineer, Ventineer, Ventineer winemaker, 1982. That's what it says on the bottom. And I can't remember, but she bought a whole bunch of these. 
And this was one of the items that her viewers picked for her to auction off. It sold for $33 with 20 bids, free shipping. All right, LL Stash Larry was in the competition and he chose to bring CDs to auction and he had about 10 cents each in those items. So he went, he played it safe and sold items that would be cheap to ship that he had not much money in. So that was one way. And I believe um, all of his items sold. So I wanted to still show his channel, even though he didn't have a big money bolo, he still sold bread and butter and bread and butter adds up. So you guys know I share bread and butter all the time. Adventures with Victoria did the same thing. She played it safe, but all of her items sold and they were lightweight items that she picked up cheap. So she had books um, and you guys can check out her video. It's right here, what sold, and you can see what her items sold for. Um, but they were mostly bread and butter. But again, still a great channel. Definitely go check her out. Um, she has a really early morning show and I've watched her before. She's very funny and very sweet. Um, I think you'd like her channel. So definitely check her out. The next item is Vandy's Closet. Next item, the next reseller. And she was actually just featured in my members only um, video where I have people who sign up to be members and then I feature them in a video. So definitely check that out. I shared some of her Bolo items, which were really fantastic. And um, she also sells on Poshmark. But for this, she went with plush and jewelry and plush and jewelry are hard items to auction. You really got to have something like that is stand out for them to go for big money. So none of them went for big money, but um, she does sell items at great profits. So definitely go and check her out. And if you want to see what sold for her auction 99, you can check it out. It's her. Um, you'll probably have to look for this video by the time I post it. Or you can put hashtag what sold auction 99 in the YouTube search bar. The next is Art Vandalay. And um, you can see he gave the challenge a thumbs down. So um, he unfortunately didn't have very good luck in the challenge. And I will say it was funny. I said in my video, I'm like, I did fine. <laughs> and Cajun um, said, he said, fine as in not good or something like that. Um, three of my items did pretty good and two of my items didn't go for as much as I'd hoped. So I feel what Art is saying here. I'm like, I get it. Thumbs down um, for a few of my items. But you know, the whole idea of the challenge was to, uh, and definitely go check out uh, Art Vandalay. Uh, shout out to him. The point of the challenge was to meet new people, meet other resellers, get new subscribers, showcase other channels for our viewers to watch and get to know other channels. So it was a lot of fun. There were 29 of us that were involved. And overall, I feel like it was a home run. So would I do it again? The 99 cents free shipping? No, I wouldn't. Oh, we'll have to think of a different challenge in the future. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. This one got kind of long. Um, there were a lot of people to feature. So uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.